So I've got this, uh, the blob from hell on this print and I've been trying to figure out what causes this. And I think I finally figured out what causes these blobs on your print. It's the retraction or retracting too much. So when your nozzle moves from one spot to another, it'll pull the, the filament up into the nozzle, say six and a half millimeter, and then move, then reprime the nozzle back down and then start printing. And then retract the filament, move, prime the nozzle again. But say if your retraction is too much, it'll suck the filament up into the nozzle along with a tiny bit of air. And then when you prime the nozzle again, that air instantly gets heated to 260 to 270 degrees Celsius if you're printing ABS. And it uh, basically causes a little explosion which causes that little bubble there because I have my Z seam set at random, designed a little 3D print test to test my theory to see whether the retraction distance is causing these little bubbles on here. So say this is a drawing of your nozzle. This is a cross section of your nozzle and this green part is the filament and it's spewing out you know, molten hot plastic onto your heat bed and when you need to move your nozzle, it has to retract. So say your nozzle retract or your filament retract setting is set to six mil. And from here to here six mil. You're retracting that much, but what is happening is it's sucking air into the nozzle as you retract. Okay, and there may be little little globs of plastic on the nozzle and what that does is seal the nozzle up and then this air trapped in here heats up to 260 270 degrees Celsius and then when this comes when this filament gets primed again and starts going down this hot air comes blowing out because the back pressure from here and blows this plastic out right here and makes a little bubble and so now you have a uh, little this scalding hot air coming out just at the uh, minute amount that's where you get this popping from even though my filament is completely dry you still get a little blob of filament so that's what's happening. So, so let's say I only want to retract three millimeters. So I'm pulling only three millimeters of filament up into the back into the nozzle. So that's less air that's going in to the little recess in the nozzle and less of a an, an explosion. Say you want to retract just a two millimeter. So this right here is your bed and this is uh, like a layer of, uh, of, of hot plastic that you're putting down. But there's still that little bit of oozing hot plastic that gets sucked back up into your nozzle. And that is what kind of traps the air in there. So the less retraction you have, the less air is going to get sucked up into this nozzle. And it's explosively coming out when pre when the back pressure up here. So when when you your gear pushes down on the when the extruder gear pushes down on the filament, it's now putting pressure on this superheated air and this little plug right there of uh, molten plastic pops pop that's what you that's the popping sound that you hear when you have too much retraction
to rule out any possibility that it is my filament, well, my filament sits in this container with three discant packs in it, so it's not moisture in my filament. Trust me on that. And plus my uh, shop is about 30% humidity because I have a dehumidifier running in my shop most of the time. That is the filament or the extruder drive gear. And you see it reversing really fast, and that's the retraction setting. That is, you know, it's retracting five millimeter at uh, 40 millimeters per second. And you can hear how it's popping. So it's still sucking air into the nozzle and popping. Just like that, you hear the pop. Just like that, the popping. And you usually hear the popping right after a retraction and it reprimes the nozzle and you hear it go pop like that. So this is the setting with retraction at two millimeters. I believe the default for Cura is about six, which may be way too much. You can uh, see that the extruder gear is, moves extremely f small amounts now at two millimeters. It's just barely, barely moving back to suck the uh, filament back up in there. And I'm not hearing any popping or snapping of the plastic exploding when a retract, after a retract happens. So I'm gonna do a comparison of the various retraction settings and show you the difference of what it makes. This is a print done with six millimeters of retraction. Calm little blob explosions, five mil has the same blobbing, a little less. Here's retraction set at four mil. Still has a little bit of blobbing. Here is retraction set at three. Barely any blobbing, just one prominent one right there. Here is my retraction set at two, two millimeters. and no blobbing. There's some right here. I think that's just from the seam or something. There's just a little bit right there and it, I may fine tune it even more, set it to like 1.8 or 1.7. You can get that granular with Cura, but you can see that there is a zero blobbing. And I have my Z seam set to random. This compared to this, six versus two, is a huge improvement. So if you're getting these blobs on your prints, and it's most prominent on the cylinders and on the edges of squares where the Z seam begins, well, now you know how to get rid of it. Decrease your retraction down and fine tune it. So if this video helped, give me a like and subscribe.